three years ago, Console Wars did this video called Top 3 Palette Cleanser Games, which are games that you just casually play just to relax, not because something new came out or you have to make a video for YouTube. Just games that are sort of like comfort food, or should I call it comfort games, but um, they tagged me in that video about three years ago, and due to some personal matters that I don't want to get into, I couldn't make the video in time. And I thought to myself, why not just do it now? Because, you know, I'm all the late when it comes to my yearly videos. Might as well add another thing to the list, too. So, here are my three games that I like to play just to relax and my personal palate cleansing games. Obviously, for the first pick, I'm gonna have to go with a Sonic game, and there's a lot of options. I wanted to go with Sonic Mania because I did play that game a lot last year, as you probably know, I love it a lot. But the game is still relatively new, and there's also the Sonic Mania Plus pack coming out in July. So instead of that, let me actually go with Sonic Adventure, because that game means a whole lot to me. I got it on my birthday, which was not that far off from the Dreamcast launch, and... When the time comes that I actually make a review on it, it's gonna be pretty big, because I have a lot to say about Sonic Adventure. And I'm fully aware of all of its flaws and how it aged poorly, but I still have a lot of fun with it. Not only that I enjoy playing with Sonic, which obviously is the best character out of all of them, but I still find little bits of enjoyment with the other characters as well, even Big the Cat. I enjoy Sonic Adventure, and yes, I'm aware that it's not exactly the best platformer ever made, but I can still go back and play Sonic's levels and still have fun like I did almost 20 years ago. So that's definitely one of my picks. My next pick is Overwatch, which I know is a relatively new game, but I can't deny the fact that this game is almost two years old, and yet I've been playing it almost every day for that amount of time. Well, not every day, but I don't really know what's about Overwatch that keeps making me coming back, because I don't really play competitive shooters, I'm not a Battlefield guy, definitely not Call of Duty, but there's probably something special about Overwatch that I keep coming back to. Maybe it's the fact that I love the characters, each one of them plays differently and they have their own unique personality and voices, all the maps are perfectly balanced, I mean, there's just so many nuances to Overwatch that just keeps me coming back to it, and it doesn't matter to me, you know, that it's quote-unquote repetitive, that they keep doing the same thing again, because it's just so fun, especially when you play with the right group of people. I can stop saying enough good things about it. I think I actually like it even more than what I said originally in that one video, because it helped me, you know, through a lot of hard times when I was feeling really bad throughout a bad day. I knew that the nighttime is going to be much more cheerful because I am playing it, so I definitely have to give Overwatch credit when it comes to that. Lastly, I want to talk about a rhythm game, and more likely a rhythm games, because I'm going to mention both Oendon and Elite Beat Agents. Oendon, for those of you who don't know, is a Japanese game in which you play as a group of male cheerleaders that go around and help different people and creatures with their problems, and yes, I know the premise is crazy, but first of all, it's Japan, and second of all, it's incredibly fun, and the game is creative, it's hyperactive, it's cheerful, and I just adore it. But even more so than just, you know, the storylines that they create for the game, I just think the gameplay is incredibly addictive. Trying to tap the circles at the right time and getting that cool rhythm going, it's it's addicting. I, I just, I couldn't stop when the game first came out. I just loved it so much. And later on, they, they uh, localized the game for Western audiences as elite beat agents, and instead of male cheerleaders, now you have special agents, which might be even crazier to begin with, but still, it, it's incredibly fun to play regardless of what game you play, which is, that's the reason why I'm gonna mention both of them. And as much as I like Elite Beat Agents because it made me like an Ashley Simpson song, which I never expected saying that in my life, I do like Oendon just a little bit more just because I have an affinity for Japanese music. But that being said, those games are just incredible, and I do think they're underrated. So if you want to have something new to play on your DS, I highly recommend them, especially since Elite Beat Agents is incredibly cheap for the DS. I think it's less than 10 bucks. I highly recommend it. For the Japanese import of Endon, as long as you know how the minions in Elite Beat Agents work, I think you'll be fine importing it, even though the game is entirely in Japanese. But still, I just enjoy those games so much. Hopefully I can get to talk about them more in depth in the future, but those, are, those games are just so fun.
I just realized I forgot to film the tagging portion of this video, and I know it's kind of irrelevant now because it's three years later, but maybe the people I'm gonna tag will have something cool to offer. So the three people I'm gonna tag are The Golden Bolt, who makes some really awesome reviews. I especially like his Plus One series when he reviews uh, PlayStation Plus games each month. Um, Super Derek, uh, because I do think he's a very smart guy, definitely knows a lot about RPGs, and it'll be cool to see what his picks are. And Teal Game Master, because, well, that Bugs Bunny Lost in Time song is still stuck in my head. Thank you very much for watching, guys, and I'll see you next time. Take care.